father? Well, he was responsible for me. Well, actually, he was. He was responsible for building Rosa and many other fantastic inventions. Will you meet Bruce Lacey? Bruce. Oh, thank you. Um, I love that. Actually, I, um, I was doing a show with a very difficult actress, and I gave her the sack and built that to replace her. This is on the level? Well, on the a gospel truth, yes. Well, that's marvellous. And But then, are all your... These are all yours. I wish we had time to discuss mm. them all, but some of them. Are they all as successful as Rosa? No, no, I'm afraid. Uh, these are some of my unsuccessful um, inventions. This was uh, an underwater kettle <laughs> uh, to, enable, um, to enable people to make tea on the seabed. I'm going to hate myself for asking, but why would they want to make tea on the seabed? For divers' reasons. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, an alarm clock. Uh, fitted with earmuffs for people who suffer from uh, insomnia. Well, of course, yes, that's logical, I think. Uh, what's this one? You're still thinking about it, aren't you? No, I was going to say that these what's are not really one? earmuffs. They're marshmallows in case you suffer from night starvation. Yes. Of course. Yes. Anyway, um, I haven't got a tie. This is a tie-tying machine. A tie-tie? Is yes. this a successful one? Ah, you must wait and see. Would you care to uh, oh. put your posterior on there, Mr. Nixon? All oh, right, then. Mm. Uh, how yeah. unsuccessful was it? Well, I'll tell you later. Now, <laughs> now, as you're rather a big man, I'm not used to such big men, could you sort of help by sort of ducking under it? I'll duck as low yeah. as I can, but this stool is sharp. No, anyway, first of all, it raises his arms like that, you see. Yeah. Um, then it comes forward like that. Yeah. And then it lowers itself. And then it goes back again like oh. that. You see? And it's actually... Oh, it's come forward yeah, again. No. It's actually... <laughs> it's actually hasn't tied the tie. That's why it's unsuccessful. It's only... <laughs> it's only put the, the scarf around your neck. You see, to actually do this means a computer and means about a million pounds. It's very difficult. Well, there you are. If there's anybody watching who wants to go along with Bruce on this one, it's half done. You know, I mean, the, the donkey work's been done. Yes, it has. It? Not yeah. by a donkey, though, no. What else? Um, anyway, this, we just passed this one. This is a, a politician that you put a hair... It's a hair-drying machine. You put a penny and you get a blast of hot air out of the mouth. You uh, call it the politician. Yes. Dangerous. And this fascinates me. Tell me about oh, it. Oh, it's very fascinating, yes. Uh, it's actually a dog-washing machine. Uh, I made it for uh, a film called uh, Arthur Arthur, starring Donald Pleasance, and they very kindly let me show it on this programme. Good. Um, you have to take an ordinary common old 